So here I have created a simple HTML form with method post and I only have input type file right there and the submit button and that's the result in the browser okay so now we want to upload files right there and handle it with PHP okay so in order to see the files in PHP we need to uh, use the super global variable underscore files okay so let's dump these files and see what it is okay initially it's an empty array okay let's upload let, let's choose one file like composer uh, png let's submit it and it's still empty okay so that's that's one issue what you need to like uh, remember okay so in order file upload to work on html form we need to add ink type attribute multipart slash form data okay that's the one thing we should do after this if we uh, just open the page choose the file and hit the submit button we see uploaded file okay in the file uh, that basically is an associative array that files is an associative array where key is the input name what we have in the HTML and the value is also associative array where each key uh, is like the keys are name type temp name error and size okay that's the name that's the original name the file was uploaded that's the type and that's mime type and based on this type we can like define we can check whether the uploaded file is image or video or anything like this that's the tmp name and the and this is the location okay so that's the location where the file was uploaded and we need to in order to save the file in our own storage we need to move from from that location into somewhere else okay so we have error attribute which is set to zero and we have size attribute which is the actual file size what was uploaded okay so uh, in order like to handle the uh, file uploads first we need to check uh, if the file was uploaded okay so let's check if files let's check with is set if inside files associative globe super global array if there exists key of file then this is the place where we need to handle okay and uh, to like save the uploaded file somewhere we need to use move uploaded file function okay and here we give uh, the files tmp name and this is the this is the name from tmp name we need to uh, move it and save it into into the name okay so that basically means that i want to move my file uh, from this location which is the upload location into this location file slash name okay and that is the current that that is inside the current folder okay so let's let's take this var dump and put it inside here okay and resubmit the form and let's have a look okay so here it is so the file was taken and uploaded next to the file uploaded php and that's the file what, what we have just uploaded so we can give it a different name right here okay so we can give it like a, a test.png and we can upload it with a different name okay let's resubmit the form and here we have test png the same image okay in most cases we should not uh we must not or like it's not good practice to upload files in this way we need to pass it through different levels of validations okay so uh, let's let's try to upload for example a larger file such as such as video for example like uh, 160 megabytes of video okay so let's upload this hit the submit button and we see warning post content length something exceeds the limit of something in a known of line zero so that basically means that such large file upload is not allowed in php and we need to make make this we need to enable this okay so for this we need to go to the xams location okay so we need to go to the c drive we need to go to the example where we have 
our uh, XAMPP installed. Let's go to the PHP and right here we need to find PHP in your file. Okay, let's open this PHP in your file and here we need we, we need to find uh, post max size variable. Let's disable some of the stuff. Here it is post max size and it's set to 40 megabyte okay so the maximum size we can send from html form using post method is 40 megabyte and we just try to send 160 megabyte okay so we need to increase this and let's set it to like a 900 megabyte for now that's for po post max size and we need to change also max file upload size okay this is also set to 40 megabyte and that's the limit we cannot upload more than 40 megabytes of files using this approach okay and let's it let's set it to 900 megabyte also okay after doing this we need to open xamp control panel we need to stop apache and restart it the stopping of apache may take a couple of seconds so you just need to wait but since that's stopped and then started, we will be able to upload large files using uh, using HTML form, using post, okay? Okay, Apache was restarted and let's, let's try to upload the same file. Okay, let's upload the 160 megabytes of file, open, click submit, and it worked so it printed the file we just uploaded and right here uh we, we actually have test php so that's a tricky thing so we are saving that uploaded file in the test php which obviously is not a good idea so let's let's save this in the original file name okay let's give it name right here and let's delete these two files okay let's reload the page and here it is so that video file was uploaded we can even upload 400 500 megabytes file uh, up to up to 900 as we as we put the in the uh, php -E, which i just closed okay but as i said that's not enough so we need to handle val validation properly okay um, first of all if the file wasn't uh, uploaded or if the file's extension is not what we want we need to show uh, error okay let's do this and let's do in in this way so let's let's add our own validation okay so let's say that we don't allow more than five megabytes of files to be uploaded even though we increased in the php and e we don't allow this okay let's let's add this validation so if uh files dot file let's actually take this and extract it in its own variable okay file it's an associative array if file size is more than five megabyte and the file size is in bytes okay so in order to check if its size is more than five megabyte we need to multiply five on 1024 and once again 1024 and if the size is more than this we need to show an error let's create an error error message right here which will be an empty string and let's assign error message to be uh, you cannot upload uh, more than five megabyte files so, or greater than five megabyte files and let's display this error message right here inside the paragraph okay let's do this hey cool okay and let's reload the page try to upload the same large video file as we had before and here we see an error you can't upload more than five megabyte files let's actually comment that for dump okay that's good okay nice if we try to upload less than five megabyte files even if it's a new video just this one okay so click the submit it worked and here we have that file okay let's delete them so now let's imagine that we don't want also our videos to be uploaded we only need images to be uploaded okay so for this we need to add a different level of validation okay so if file size is more than five megabytes 
uh, then we show an error. If it's less than five megabytes, then we need to apply different uh, like level of uh, validation. Okay, we need to check if it's MIME type is one of the images MIME type or if its extension is one of a load extensions, like if it's a PNG or JPG or JEPEG, okay? For this, let's take the file extension, okay? Extension equals, and I'm gonna use here path info PHP's function, okay? You can check out more information in the PHP's official documentation about the function, but for now, just remember that when we give it the actual file name, and that's the file name and we give the second argument a constant path info extension okay so i'm going to give path info extension and that will extract the extension from that name and return it in a variable and now i can use that extension to check whether it's one of the allowed extensions or not okay so if the extension is not in the list of uh, allowed extensions such as png or JEPEG or SVG or JPG. If the extension is none of these, we can show another uh, error. Okay, you can only upload images. You can only upload images. That's cool. But the thing is that we need to stop actually execution right here. Okay, so we should not call move uploaded file when we show that warning. Okay, so let's move this move uploaded file inside the else statement. Okay, so if its size is bigger than five megabyte, we show this error. If its extension is not the images extension, we show this error. Otherwise, we allow its upload. And let's choose large file, submit, we get the error and it was not uploaded. Okay, let's choose smaller file like this one, but it's video. Okay, we get the error, you can only upload images. Okay, which is also really good. If we choose an image, let's go to the pictures. If we choose an image and its size is also less than five megabyte, then we're good to go and we see that image uploaded right here. One additional feature can be that if the extension uh, is in uppercase, we just need to make it lowercase. So sometimes images are called uh, uppercase, has uppercase extensions like uppercase PNG, uppercase JPG. Okay, right here, let's uh, make the str to lower extension. Okay, so make sure that the extension will always be lowercase. And then we check against the following extensions.